Hey guys, welcome to my new stuff. And yes, it is the Wii screen. We haven't seen this in a while. As you all know, uh, Fatal Frame was put on hold for just a little bit because I went on a little uh, family getaway for a weekend. So I just got back from that today. Freaking awesome weekend. I really needed it. So anyway, we're going back to Nintendo. So you know what we're doing? Major no, no, that game sucks. We're doing this game. Whatever it may be. And I know, I'm just kidding. Majora's Mask doesn't suck. I'm just playing around. I played it, um, but I didn't really like it. I didn't like the time thing, but maybe that's just because I was ignorant of how amazing it is, but whatever. Um, not really into Zelda anymore. Probably going to get a bajillion comments just on that one comment alone, but let's move on. This game is one that I prefer. Let's do this. And it's going to get to the title in like a second. Let's see. Kuju. Dolby. They make everything nowadays in games. Loading. Yes, the game is called Loading. It's amazing. It's in every game ever. All right. Boom! Battalion Wars. Oh, man. Ah. I love this game. This is probably my all-time favorite Nintendo series. Probably just blew a few minds right there. Battalion Wars is so original, so much fun, and so underrated. It is like the perfect game for me. This is the other strategy game that Nintendo made for the GameCube, 2005. When I saw it in Nintendo Power, I was like, oh, that looks stupid. And then when I, in my old age, I came back, looked through those issues, and I'm like, huh, you know, I never really looked into that. I should probably look that up. Looked up a video, looked cool, bought it, and it was awesome. So, it is time to get back in my comfort zone. The war zone. So, let's do this. It's so much fun. Alright, so, we're just jumping straight into this. We're doing our first, or next, mission, combat patrol. All right, patrol and reconnoiter the demilitarized zone on our border with the Tundra territories. Tundra is gearing up for something, and we need to keep an eye on them. It's time to put your basic training into practice and find out what they, what kind of game they're playing. <laughs> they're probably playing the same game that we are because you know we're playing it too, and they're in that game. It's funny because video games. Okay, and don't worry, there are cutscenes to explain this because I know we're just jumping right into it. The demilitarized zone on the border between the western frontier and the Tundran territory. For months now, the site of an uneasy truce between two mighty armies. This is a waiting game, with both sides primed to retaliate in the event of a preemptive strike. But on this historic day, control of the Tundran Empire passes from the iron grip of Tsar Gorgi into the more progressive hands of his son and heir, Marshal Nova. And with Nova in charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time, peace might just endure. a contact sport, gentlemen. Sack that defensive line. Go, go, go! <laughs> now line up! Our boys are getting mighty twitchy down there. We got the men, we got the playbook. Where's the conflict? The world is changing, Herman. Looks like this truce could last a long, long time. What? You gotta be pulling my pin! But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. How about we organize a little sortie to perk up their spirits? A field exercise? Hmm. With live ammo, of course. Betty, I like the way you think. And the other thing I like about this game is the stereotypes. I love the stereotypes. They are so enjoyable. Um, those Tundran territories, if you haven't guessed 
from like all the red you saw at the demilitarized zone. Um, they are uh, Russian stereotypes. Oh, go hang on. I'll be the navy of this game. Thank you very much. Has chosen you to carry out a recon mission along our border with the Tundra territories. It's been a while since your battalion saw combat, so I'm going to be putting you through your paces before you head out on patrol. You don't have to. I already know how to play this freaking game. Welcome to the Fourth Gridiron Obstacle Course. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. All right, all right, okay. First things first, why don't you limber up a little? Use the control stick to move around. All right, so this is the tutorial. Just so we get things straight, I'm not really going to be talking much through this just because she really will not stop talking through this. So I don't want this to be like mercenaries where I'm constantly yelling at the computer. So, yes, there's a lot of talking with your commanding officers and stuff. So I'll just let her go through this. So, yeah. Press the B button to jump. Now traverse those obstacles, command. Take out all the target dummies and show me you've got the right stuff for this patrol. See the red targeting reticule? If you press and hold the L button, you will lock on to this target next. Press the L button to lock on to the nearest available target. Lock on to one of the targets, then move in any direction and press the B button to execute a combat roll. Press and hold the R button, then use the control stick to look around. Looks like you're in good shape, Commander. This mission is a go. Move out to the next gold star. All right, all right. So every time the we radar no. in the top left corner <sighs> of the screen, the Jeez. flashing gold star is your objective marker. Okay. So yes, gold stars are your objective markers. She's not going to shut Wait up for this. What's this Joker doing in frontier territory? Must be a tundra spy. After him. Who all? Oh, there's a conflict in a game called Battalion Wars. Who would have guessed? Looks like the spy is setting up listening posts on our turf. Destroy them. All right, all right. Bossy. Bossy for a fairy, aren't you? Jeez. Um, people had a. <laughs> these eyes in the sky before they can report back to Tundran High Command. Outstanding! That'll take the air out of the Tundran Intelligence Program. Oh, boo! Hey, that's my job, making the bad puns. Over there, uh, it's Tundran Spy! Okay, I get it. Um, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and go into this right now. One of the problems that people actually had with the game was that this character, Brigadier Betty, was annoying. Yeah, that was actually one of the things that players actually wrote in. Does Betty have to be so annoying? They really actually wrote in because she was so annoying. But don't worry. Um. Oh, well, wait. I can't really say that, but whatever. She's in the game a lot and she won't shut up. So, yeah. Shut. Yeah, as opposed to the ones we were leaving alive to, you know, interrogate. Come on, come on. Ah. Now, I don't really, I don't think it matters if you lose these balloons. Oh, come on. Come on. Yay. Okay. So, you want to go ahead and break everything and go as fast as you can. And I will explain why we're doing this, why we're going as fast as we can a little bit later on. I know. I've played the game. I know. Okay. Um, I haven't really gone into any of this, but this is, it's, I know it might not look like it, but this is indeed a strategy game, and it is a squad-based. Oh. Okay. Herpy derp. He's a gunner. That spy is gonna pay for this. <laughs> what did they say? Was he KGB? Is that how they killed him? But anyway, as opposed to most, oh. there's the spy. Shoot him, even though you can't hit him. Okay. Uh, as opposed to most games I play, you can swim in this game, and you don't freaking instantly die in water. I know, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, this is indeed a strategy game. It's actually similar to Pikmin, believe it or not, except, you know, with guns and tanks. So, I believe that this game wins out over Pikmin. Alright. 
Press the X button to command the grunts to follow you. These rifle grunts will now follow you. See the green arrow icon above their heads? That means they are in follow mode. Button once more to tell your men to wait in sentry mode. See the silver shield icon? This means your troops are in sentry mode. I know. Okay, so. <sighs> will guard the immediate vicinity and attack any hostile troops that approach. You know, wait, hang on. Can I do something about this? Mission log, controls, pause menu. Huh, I thought you could actually change that. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Guess we're kind of stuck with her. Oh, wait, no, wait. Controls? Uh, no. Okay. Head to the next gold star marked on uh, the radar. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of stuck with her. Camp in the area. Huh. You know, <laughs> uh, don't worry. The game is she will not. There will not be anywhere near this amount of talking in all the missions. Do not worry about that. Soldiers, target one of them and press the Y button to order your men to attack. And you can use your your soldiers under your command to actually attack people like that. Free those prisoners, Commander. Target the big ammo dump. The explosion should be enough to destroy the barbed wire. Good work, Commander. You've recovered a recon unit. <sighs> we'll catch up to that spy in no time. Yes, I know. Lock blah, blah, blah. Lock the recon unit and use the Z button to jump behind the wheel. Well done. Now keep moving. We have a spy to catch. All right. Now, in this game, you are not just soldiers. You can get in Smith many... the barbed wire, Commander. Many different vehicles. That's a Tundran armored division down there. Looks like we've stumbled onto something big. Prepare yourselves for defeat, decadent frontier cowboys. Shut up, Russia. You're annoying. Zargorki, your presence here is a clear breach of the terms of the ceasefire. What do you think you're doing? Making war, Brigadier Betty. Isn't this what Frontier Command has been waiting for? But I thought Marshal Nova wanted peace! I think the assembled might of my personal army speaks for the Marshal's intentions, Brigadier. <laughs> Could you be any more Russian? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. The Russians have invaded America! Yeah, friggin' weird. But anyway, this is your score screen. Um, the three things that you can get, uh, the three objectives you want to try to get in a mission is speed, technique, and power. Speed is obviously how fast you clear a mission. Technique is how many units you have left at the end of a mission. So basically, if you go through a whole mission and you don't lose a single guy, you get 100% perfect. And then power is how many enemy units you kill. So since we killed all the possible enemy units you kill, we got 100%. But we did it kind of slowly, so we got an A. Which is totally fine. Now, um, when you get these ranks, um, are you saving high score? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so when you get these ranks, hang on just a second here. All right, oh, you get little bios, I guess. But we're not gonna go. No, we're not gonna look at those. But anyway, as you can see, when you beat a mission, the rank is displayed on that mission. After you clear, eh, you know what? I'm gonna save that for when we actually get to the, the you know, that little feature. So yeah. Anyway, short video today, but we're gonna be doing this in mission style because. That's how the game is. So anyway, next time on Battalion Wars, we will hopefully be able to actually talk for more than 30 seconds at a time. See you guys later.